The London Electrical Engineers was a volunteer unit of the British Army's Royal Engineers founded in 1897. It pioneered the use of searchlights for port defence before World War I and for anti-aircraft defence during the war. In the interwar period it formed the two senior searchlight regiments of the Territorial Army, which defended southern England during the Blitz. Detachments later served in the Battle of Crete and Siege of Tobruk. The regiment was one of the first to employ women in a combat-related role. Topic. Origin Queen Victoria approved the formation of the Electrical Engineers, Royal Engineers, Volunteers on 27 April 1897. Their role was to supplement the regular Royal Engineers RE, in wartime by operating searchlights to defend major ports in conjunction with minefields controlled by volunteer companies of submarine miners RE. The headquarters of the new force was at 5 Victoria Street, Westminster, and initially there were four companies recruited in London and the Midlands. By 1908 there were seven divisions of electrical engineers around the great estuary ports of Britain, including the London Division, which was responsible for the Thames Estuary. The London Electrical Engineers established its HQ at 46 Regency Street, Victoria, in 1900. Topic Second Boer War The commanding officer of the Electrical Engineers was Rooks Crompton 1845 the electrical pioneer and founder of Crompton & Co., one of the first large-scale manufacturers of electrical equipment. In earlier life he had been an infantry officer in the Rifle Brigade and the 57th Foot before going onto the reserve list in 1880, but had spent much of his service in India designing military steam wagons. Early in the Second Boer War, Colonel Robert Baden-Powell improvised searchlights to deter night attacks during the Siege of Mafeking. Soon afterward Major Crompton led a detachment of the Electrical Engineers Volunteers to South Africa where they operated electric arc lamp searchlights of his own design, the first use of such equipment by the Royal Engineers on campaign. The detachment served from April to October 1900 in the Transvaal and Orange Free State. Crompton was promoted to lieutenant colonel, mentioned in dispatches and made a companion of the bath for his efforts and was later given the honorary rank of colonel. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Territorial Force. Under the Haldane reforms, the Electrical Engineers RE were converted into Fortress Companies RE in the new Territorial Force. They were responsible, among other duties, for electrical installations in the defended ports. The large London division was planned to split into six RE companies as follows. London Fortress Royal Engineers 1st London Divisional Telegraph Company RE 2nd London Divisional Telegraph Company RE London Wireless Telegraph Company RE London Cable Telegraph Company RE London Ballin Telegraph Company RE However, the plan was changed over the next two years. Instead, the London Electrical Engineers retained its title and role, 1st London Divisional Telegraph Company, RE, as well as the 1st and 2nd London Divisional Field Companies was found by the East London Tower Hamlets RE, v, while the 2nd London Divisional Telegraph Company as well as 3rd and 4th London Field Companies was found by the 1st Middlesex RE, v. The London Division was therefore finally reorganised as follows. London Electrical Engineers London Wireless Telegraph Company RE London Cable Telegraph Company RE London Airline Telegraph Company RE London Balloon Company RE disbanded 1913 the three telegraph companies formed London District Signals, while the London Electrical Engineers Lee specialised on searchlights. Crompton and most of the other officers appointed to the Lee were members or associate members of the Institution of Civil Engineers. Another was the pioneer aeronautical engineer Edward Teshmaker Busk, who was a lieutenant in the Corps. Crompton retired in 1910, but was appointed honorary colonel of the Corps in 1911. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> World War One. By the outbreak of World War I in August 1914, the London Electrical Engineers had grown to six companies based at Regency Street. 
Searchlight units were immediately deployed to the south coast of England and the Thames estuary to form light barriers against surface raiders. For example, No. 2 Company London Electrical Engineers was positioned at Coalhouse Fort in East Tilbury. By an agreement between the Admiralty and War Office on 3 September 1914, responsibility for air defence of the UK lay initially with the Royal Navy, which provided aircraft, quick-firing guns and searchlights to defend vulnerable points against the anticipated air raids. These acetylene searchlights were operated by civilian special constables. Anti-aircraft defence The first night raid was made by Zeppelin airships on 1920 January 1915, then in April and May regular raids began on the east coast of England, reaching London on 31 May, 1 June. Zeppelin raids continued during the summer and autumn of 1915, after which it was decided that the Royal Navy would try to deal with raiders approaching the British coastline, while the Army would be responsible for dealing with them over land. The transfer took effect between February and April 1916. Experience had shown the need for plentiful searchlights to guide both gunners and fighter pilots to their targets. The Army established a 25-mile-wide searchlight belt stretching from Northumberland to Sussex, with a double ring round London. By July 1917 there were 42 AA companies of the RE scattered around the country. These included the following Lee units. Nose 1 to 6 AA companies, London. Nose 11 to 12 AA brigade searchlight companies. Nose 2021sts and 2426sts aeroplane squadron searchlight companies. Number 40 AA company, Dover. Number 53 AA company, New Haven. Changes were also needed in searchlight design and training, so a team was selected from the London Electrical Engineers to return to their headquarters at 46 Regency Street and set up workshops, design, and drawing offices to deal with the redesigns. This organisation became the Searchlight Experimental Establishment commanded by Captain P. York, RE, the Tyne Electrical Engineers T, similarly took responsibility for the School of Electric Lighting at Gosport, technology and tactics developed to keep pace as the Germans replaced vulnerable airships with heavy bombers. New 90 cm and 120 cm electric searchlights and their sound locators were linked directly to the guns to provide early warning. In August 1918, a new establishment was implemented. The London and Tyne Electrical Engineers became the parent units for all coast defence and anti aircraft electric light units and the depots that trained men for them. It was from these that nearly all RE anti aircraft companies and anti aircraft searchlight companies were formed, serving on home defence, with the British Expeditionary Force in France and Flanders, and on the Italian front. Between 1915 and 1918, the RE formed 76 AA searchlight sections for overseas service. The Lee is known to have found 25 of these, Nose 2, jointly with regular Re, 3 to 5, 7, 9, 12, 14, 16, 18, 25, 29, 30, 31, 33, 35, 37, 39, 41, 43, 45, and 48, together with Nose 21, 23, and 24, which were formed in France from Nose 1 to 8 AAS sections. Others were formed by the regular RE number one and by the T. The parent units of a further 29 AAS sections are not known, but they probably consisted of mixed LEE, T and medical category B personnel. A fixed two-light section in France in 1917 comprised 20 men with three vehicles, a mobile three-light section in 1918 consisted of five vehicles and 28 men. Topic Western Front In August 1915, a detachment of volunteers from the T-72 men, and Lee-39 men, proceeded to join the British Expeditionary Force BEF, in France. They were formed into 13 small detachments, each assigned to a field company of the RE to operate small oxyacetylene searchlights to detect enemy raiding parties in no man's land. Although these were used with some success for a few months, exposing a light drew heavy fire from the enemy, and the dangerous work earned the detachments the nickname of the Suicide Brigade. In November 1915, a joint Lee T Company was formed for service in France, designated No. 1, London and Tyne, Electrical and Mechanical Company, RE. 
It assembled at the Lees HQ in London, and landed at Le Havre on 15 December, where it was attached to General Headquarters GHQ, of the BEF. It carried out a variety of duties, ranging from installing electric lighting for hospitals, water pumps and laundry equipment, to erecting a printing works and building a trench locomotive. After the Battle of the Somme it was decided to form an E&M company for each of the armies of the BEF and the London and Tyne Company was split to form 351 Company 2nd Army, and 354 Company 5th Army. 354 Company was later responsible for the development of airlift and belt water pumps to supply drinking water. During the German Spring Offensive of 1918, 351 and 354 E&M companies were entrusted with destroying electrical installations and water supplies ahead of the advancing enemy. These then had to be replaced during the Hundred Days Advance. Among the professionals who served with the London Electrical Engineers during the war were the electrical engineer Reginald Franklin Payne Galway, who later succeeded as the fifth baronet of that name, and the chemist Theodore Ackland. The remaining part-time civilian searchlight operators were also replaced. By the end of the war there were 622 searchlights in use for home defense. Topic. Interwar This large anti-aircraft effort was quickly scaled down after the armistice, but the searchlight experimental establishment continued as civilian body, with several officers of the London Electrical Engineers still attached. In 1922 the London Electrical Engineers was split into the 10th and 11th Anti-Aircraft Battalions RE. These were renumbered in 1923 as the 26th and 27th London Electrical Engineers Battalion, RE, becoming the two senior searchlight units of the new Territorial Army. Numbers 1 to 25 were reserved for regular Army units, but most were never used. 26 AA Battalion, based at the Duke of York's headquarters in Chelsea, comprised NOS 301 to 3 AA companies, and 27 AABN headquartered at Mitcham Lane, Streatham, had NOS 304 to 6 based at Rochester Row, Westminster. The Regency Street premises were used by the former London District Signals, which had become Air Defence Signals. Crompton remained honorary colonel of the 27th. During the 1930s, the air defence strength of the Territorial Army was greatly expanded. In December 1935, first anti-aircraft division was formed to cover London, with 26th and 27th battalions assigned to 26th London Anti-Aircraft Group, later Brigade, which shared the Duke of York's headquarters. With the further expansion of the TA after 1938, each battalion was brought up to a four-company establishment, 26th BN gaining 321 AA Company and 27th BN receiving 390 AA Company. 26th Battalion transferred its 302 AA Company to 34th Queen's Own Royal West Kent Regiment Anti-Aircraft Battalion at Greenwich, receiving 339 AA Company in exchange. In September 1938, 26th AA BDE was split in two, the two London Electrical Engineer Battalions remaining with 38th Light Anti-Aircraft Brigade at the Duke of York's headquarters. 301 AA Company had moved to Shepherd's Bush but remained part of of 26th BN. Topic: World War II. Topic: Mobilization. The TAS AA units were mobilized on 23 September 1938 during the Munich crisis, with units manning their emergency positions within 24 hours, even though many did not yet have their full complement of men or equipment. The emergency lasted three weeks, and they were stood down on 13 October. In February 1939 the existing AA defenses came under the control of a new anti-aircraft command. In June a partial mobilization of TA units was begun in a process known as couverture, whereby each AA unit did a month's tour of duty in rotation to man selected AA and searchlight positions. 
On 24 August, ahead of the declaration of war, AA Command was fully mobilized at its war stations. By October, 306 AA Co. had been moved to the area around the Humber Estuary where it came under the command of 46, Lincolnshire Regiment AABN in 39 AABDE. In November the company moved into Grimsby to make that a lighted gun zone. In February 1940, 306 AA Co. took over some SL sites on the east coast that were positioned to pick up low flying aircraft laying parachute mines in the mouth of the Humber. In August 1940, the AA battalions were transferred from the Royal Engineers to the Royal Artillery, being redesignated searchlight regiments, and the AA companies became searchlight batteries. 306 AABTY returned to 27th Lee S L R G T in September 1940. Topic: <inaudible> Blitz. When heavy German night air raids on the UK, the Blitz began in late summer 1940. The London Inner Artillery Zone (IAZ) had 73 SL positions operated by 26th and 27th Lee and 75th Middlesex SLRGTs, controlled from a central operations room at Brompton, working directly under HQ No. 11 Group Fighter Command at Uxbridge. 75th SL operated a fixed azimuth line of SLs and sound detectors across the flight path paths to the IAZ, while the two Lee regiments cooperated with the HAA guns in the urban area. The three regiments continued to form part of 38th AA Brigade under 1st AA Division. Later, as the Blitz continued, 27th Lee S. LRGT moved out to join 47 AA BDE in 5 AA Division, covering Southampton. By the end of the Blitz in May 1941, 26th Lee S. LRGT was still with 38th AA BDE in 1 AA Division with 321 and 339 BTYs, while 301 and 303 BTYs were detached to 8 AA Division in southwest England. Meanwhile, 27th Lee S. LRGT had left AA Command, and from now on the two regiments' histories diverged. Topic: 26th Mixed Searchlight Regiment, London Electrical Engineers. 26th Searchlight Regiment was still with 38th AABDE in 1 AA Division defending London and was rejoined by 301 and 303 BTYs later in 1941. It retained this role throughout the war. A secret trial, the Newark Experiment, in April 1941, having shown that women were capable of operating heavy searchlight equipment and coping with conditions on the often desolate searchlight sites, members of the Auxiliary Territorial Service began training to replace male personnel in searchlight regiments. At first they were employed in Searchlight Troop Headquarters, but in July 1942 the 26th became the first mixed regiment, with seven troops of ATS women posted to it, forming the whole of 301 Battery and half of 339 Battery. By October that year, 303 and 339 BTYs were listed as mixed, and the all-women 301 battery transferred to the new 93rd Mixed Searchlight Regiment, Royal Artillery the last searchlight regiment formed, which by August 1943 comprised about 1,500 women out of an establishment of 1,674.301 battery was replaced in the regiment by 529 BTY, the last all-male battery formed. Formed, and the regiment transferred to 49th AA BDE in 1 AA Group, which had replaced 1 AA Division. With the lower threat of attack by the weakened Luftwaffe, AA Command was being forced to release manpower for the planned invasion of Normandy Operation Overlord. All home defense searchlight regiments were reduced in February 1944, and 26th Lee S. LRGT lost 529 BTY. By November that year all men of A1 medical category under the age of 30 had been transferred to the infantry. After the war all units of the TA were placed in suspended animation as their personnel were demobilized. Topic 27th London Electrical Engineers Searchlight Regiment 
The regiment left the UK early in 1941 to move to Egypt, where it came under the command of two double ABDE based in Cairo. Until late 1942, when it was joined by a Royal Marines unit, it was the only searchlight regiment in Middle East forces, and frequently had detachments serving over a wide area. Topic: Crete. In May 1941, 304 Battery was detached with other Royal Artillery units from Egypt to Crete, where it operated 20 searchlight projectors in the defence of the Suda Bay area alongside mainly Royal Marine AA gunners whose own searchlight unit was acting as infantry. German air raids began on 14 May, reaching a peak of intensity on the morning of 20 May, followed by landings by German paratroops and gliders as the Battle of Crete began. On the 22nd of May, at St. Matthew's Hill near Kanea, Battery Sergeant Major William Egglesfield of 304th S. LBTY called for a volunteer and went out with gunner L.E.P. Corey to rescue a wounded trooper of the Northumberland Hussars lying wounded in a ravine some 800 yards away. They brought the man back over open ground under fire from snipers. BSM Egglesfield was recommended for a Distinguished Conduct Medal but was awarded a military medal, as was GNR Corey. By 26 May, after continuous German attack from the air and by airborne troops, the defences round Kanea finally collapsed and Suda had to be abandoned. The force had to retreat across the island to Sfakia, where the Royal Navy evacuated as many as possible to Egypt. Thousands of British and Commonwealth troops were taken prisoner. Topic: <inaudible> Tobruk. While the Battle of Crete was progressing, two troops of 306 Battery were serving with four double ABDE in the defence of Tobruk, which resisted months of air attack. Meanwhile, night bombing attacks on British bases in Egypt were common, and two troops of 390 Battery were guarding Alexandria. By October 1941, the whole regiment, including the reconstituted 304 BTY, was back in Egypt under the command of two double ABDE. 304 BTY in the Suez Canal area with 24 XSLs. 305 BTY at Port Said and Port Fuad with 24 XSLs. 390 BTY less 1 TRP at Suez and Shalufa with 18 XSLs. 1 TRP 390 BTY at Alexandra with 8 x 150 mm SLS giving a total of 74 projectors, the only SLs then in Egypt. The British 8th Army advanced again in Operation Crusader, and AA units followed behind. Detachments of 305 BTY were serving with 4 AA BDE in Tobruk on 21 June 1942 when the port was captured by Axis forces. Among the members of 305 BTY who were captured was Sergeant C. D. McLaren, Royal Corps of Signals, who escaped from a German prisoner of war camp in Italy in September 1943 and succeeded in reaching the Allied lines, for which he was awarded a mention in dispatches. Topic, Alamein and after At the time of the Battle of Alamein two troops of the regiment were serving with 12 double ABDE under HQ 8th Army for Army Area Protection. During the opening night phase of the battle, Operation Lightfoot, five searchlights were used to assist the assaulting troops to keep direction. As 8th Army pursued the Axis forces across North Africa, double A units followed to defend its lines of communication. By January 1943, the regiment was deployed as follows. RHQ 27S, LRGT, 304 and 305 BTYs under 21 double ABDE covering Port Said, Suez Canal, Suez and Cairo with 24 XSLs. 304 BTY under 18 double ABDE covering Alexandria, Abukir, Mirsa Matru and landing grounds with 24 XSLs. 306 BTY under 2 double ABDE in Tripoli on tasks for 30th Corps with 24 XSLs. 390 under 1 double ABDE covering Benghazi, Ajadabia and landing grounds with 12 SLs. 
By the end of the campaign in North Africa in May 1943, the regiment was deployed as follows. RHQ 27S, LRGT and 305 BTY under 21 double ABDE covering the Suez Canal, Suez and Cairo 304 BTY under 18 double ABDE covering Alexandria, Abukir and the Nile Delta 306 BTY under 2 double ABDE at Tripoli and RAF Castel Benito 390 BTY under 1 double ABDE covering Benghazi landing grounds Topic. Middle East forces After the Allied victory in North Africa, 27 Searchlight Regiment remained under Middle East forces. By January 1944, as the war moved away, the AA defenses of the Middle East were being run down, and surplus personnel were sent as reinforcements to other theaters of the war. At this time the regiment had been reduced to just two active batteries. 304 BTY under 18 AA BDE covering Port Said and Alexandria. 390 BTY under 1 double ABDE in the Levant, including Haifa, Homs and Baalbek. 484 Kermarthenshire S. L. B. T. Y., which had served during the long siege of Malta, began arriving at Alexandria from Malta on 1 January 1944, and on 17 January was attached to 27th Lee S. L. R. G. T. It had brought its own equipment, but took over 90 cm S, L positions from 304 BTY and became operational along the Suez Canal on 24 February with Battery HQ at Ismailia under 78 double ABDE while 304 BTY was depolied to Tobruk. But there was little to do apart from training with the new Searchlight Control SLC, radar. In May, 304 BTY returned to Ismailia and 484 BTY went a short way to Kwasassan where it came under 21 double ABDE. By June, the double A defenses of the Middle East had been reduced to a shell to protect Alexandria and the Suez Canal. In July the regiment was disposed as follows. RHQ, 306 and 484 BTYs under 17 double ABDE in the Suez Canal area. 390 BTY under 1 double ABDE covering the Levant and Cyprus the following month 484 BTY began to disband officially it entered suspended animation on 10 September and most of its personnel were sent to No. 2 Depot Regiment, RA, for drafting elsewhere. 27th Lee S. L. Regiment followed it into suspended animation in June 1945. Post-war When the TA was reformed after World War II, 26th Searchlight Regiment was to be reconstituted on 1 April 1947 as 118 Searchlight Regiment RA, with 303, 321 and 339 batteries redesignated as 357, 358 and 359 respectively. However, this was rescinded a month later. The regiment appears to have been absorbed into the headquarters of 121 Construction Regiment RE, County of London, a TA unit formed from the London Corps Troops Engineers and 47th London Infantry Division Engineers, based at the Duke of York's headquarters. This combined unit later became part of the present day 101 City of London Regiment RE. The 27th was reconstituted in the TA on 1 January 1947 as 562 Searchlight Regiment RA, 27th London Electrical Engineers. Two years later, it was redesignated as a mixed light anti aircraft Searchlight Regiment. It was subordinated to 64 double ABDE. When Anti-Aircraft Command was disbanded on 10 March 1955, 562 Regiment was merged into 624 Law Regiment Royal Fusiliers, becoming R Battery London Electrical Engineers in the Combined Regiment. Finally, on 1 May 1961, 624 Law Regiment merged into a TA Infantry Battalion of the Royal Fusiliers and the London Electrical Engineers lineage ended. Topic. Honorary colonels 
The following served as honorary colonels. The Electrical Engineers William Thompson, 1st Baron Kelvin, OM, GCVO, FRS, appointed 18 August 1897 London Electrical Engineers Call R.E.B. Crompton, C.B., FRS, appointed 24 June 191,126 London Electrical Engineers Anti-Aircraft Battalion Sir Vivian Gabriel, CSI, CMG, CVO, CBE, VD, appointed the 1st of January 192,927, London Electrical Engineers, Anti-Aircraft Battalion. Call REB, Crompton, A W, Goodwin, MP, appointed the 19th of December 1929. Henry Mond, Second Baron Melchett, appointed the 18th of June 1938. Topic. Memorials The London Electrical Engineers are listed on the City and County of London Troops Memorial in front of the Royal Exchange, London, with architectural design by Sir Aston Webb and sculpture by Alfred Drury. <laughs> Notes <laughs>